Uh, so in this talk, we uh, discussed many different content routing systems. Uh, we talked about what content routing is, what are the dynamics of it, why you have many systems, how do you explore across many different content routing systems. Uh, we heard a lot about a new content routing system, which is the network indexer, the store the hash um, network indexer, and how folks are using it today, what, how to use it, how they can use it, and, and whatnot. Uh, out of this, we also had a ton of really useful discussions about possible trajectories for new content routing systems, and we got a sense of the dynamics of building these kinds of, um, uh, kinds of things. We heard about, uh, we had a ton of takeaways, uh, including like, hey, we need a lot more work on content routing. Uh, this needs to be uh, formalized um, more as, as specific projects themselves. We need to give them names. We need to, um, yeah, we need to improve a lot of the naming around content routing and be able to refer to specific things. Um, so like the content indexers and the DHT and so on. There's a bunch of low-hanging fruit in improving a number of the systems, including DHTs and, and, uh, and so on. Um, and we now have a, some tooling to be able to use different content routing systems called uh, Reframe, and that is gonna be shipping in Kubo very soon, and that'll provide a, an example for how other groups may, may be able to use this. Uh, we also think this is an area where, the, the, where Kaka can help a lot. <laughs> there we go. By the way, it's actually really good, and uh, everyone is just like buying into it. Uh, so it's very good naming and very good, very good meme formation. Uh, so we think that this is an area where the Content Address Alliance can push forward not only the benefits of content addressing, but help explore and map the utility of different content routing systems, and um, potentially build a bunch of bridges to uh, Web2 large-scale uh, infrastructure networks. Uh, here's a set of milestones that we think are important in the short term. So ship reframe in Kubo that's like almost done. It's already in RC, so maybe next week. Um, there is, uh, we need to improve a bunch of the naming here. So we need to name the public DHT. Um, we need to name the network indexer projects and instances and so on and just kind of help deconfuse some of that naming. Um, we need to uh, articulate better why indexers are useful to pinning services and figure out what indexers need to do in order to get um, adopted by pending services, meaning like um, make sure that there's like a really strong value prop there um, and get feedback along the way. Uh, and we need to kind of improve the network indexer project presence. Uh, separate from indexers, we need to do a kind of a survey of content routing systems. So this is uh, pulling up the uh, CCN and NDN and other literature and look at a bunch of protocol space and kind of figure out where there are really good protocol ideas that we can, um, that we can leverage. And <clears throat> from there, we, we should arrive at a, at a kind of new formalization of content routing given content addressing. So a lot of the CCN and the N literature wasn't built on top of um, hash-linked content addressing, and so we need a new reformalization uh, of the content routing problem, leveraging that. And then that can pave the word world for new DHTs and new content routing systems and so on. And so we should kind of unblock the, the, um, the we should do the, the, work, <clears throat> the work needed for the project to embrace new content routing systems. So for people to like propose a whole new DHT and what does the adoption path look like there? Like who, what do they have to do in order to get adoption from various groups? Uh, all right, that's it.